Okay, um, Megan, I'm based in South Africa. What are the options available for startup visas and business visas? Okay, so for startup for startup uh, businesses at the moment, right? The the Australian government has rolled out a new program that is that that is actually targeted includes entrepreneur entrepreneurs and startup businesses particularly and and I found that South Australia has quite a welcoming program for that, right? So where they where Megan would want to start off with is do a quick search on um live in South Australia. I think that's what the site is called now. Let me just do it. So Google South Australia or live in South Australia or business in South Australia, and you'll be able to see a couple of um, the business visa programs. I can't, I, I can't talk too much on that particular, uh, in detail and in particular on the startup businesses, only because that's a new program. So have a look at that, just to get a sense of whether your startup business is um, eligible at least at face value, and then you'll be able to, to do a little bit more research on that one. And so that's where the businesses are. That's where it is for startups, right? But in general, for the business visas, Australia is looking for uh, businesses that have been running for at least four years. And yeah. of that four years, two of those years, um, that you have a turnover of between 500,000 to 800,000. Right. Again, depending on the state that you're in. Is that also part of the investment visa? It is. It falls in the same program, the business right. investment uh, moved visa a few, program. Yeah, I've moved a few people on the investment visas. Um, and that's yeah. interesting. But again, you know, that's probably on hold at the moment. But 